Well, hey friends, today I'm going to share with you how we make our own liquid hand soap. It's an all natural hand soap and we've been using it now for about six months and I'm telling you, it works so great and I don't ever plan on buying hand soap again. So first you're going to need some Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap. Dr. Bronner's soap has been around since 1948 and guys, this stuff is so awesome. So it is made with certified organic ingredients, lots of different oils and water. It, there are no detergents, there are no foaming agents, it's certified vegan, it's not tested on animals, it's non-GMO, all the good stuff, and this stuff is just pure awesome. It comes in a variety of scents as well as unscented. I'm loving peppermint right now. The key to this soap is that you must dilute it, so one bottle can last you quite a while. Next, you're going to need some distilled water. This next ingredient is totally optional. You don't need it at all. But I like to have a little bit of thickness to my soap, so I like to add a sprinkling of glucomannan powder. This is actually a superfood. It is from the Konjac root. Um, it's a really natural sort of thickening agent for liquids. You can find it at your health food store, and it just adds a little bit of thickness to the soap to keep it from being so runny. You're also going to need something to mix in. I like to use this glass Pyrex cup because it has ounces as well as cup measurements on it. So the ratio here is one ounce of liquid Castile soap to one cup of distilled water. I tend to go a little bit over the cup line because I want to account for the one ounce of soap that is in the bottom of the Pyrex cup. Then I take a whisk and I give a little stir. Now again, this next step is completely optional. I just like to add a tiny little bit of glucomannan powder to my soap to thicken it. You can use any kind of thickening agent that you like. I just happen to have this on hand. A teeny tiny bit will go a long way. Now with glucomannan powder, you want to just sprinkle a little bit in and then whisk it together rather than just dumping the whole teaspoon into your soap. If you just dump the powder in, it's going to kind of just form a gelatinous ball rather than dispersing itself evenly throughout the soap. Now the other thing you want to remember is, is that this glucomannan powder takes a minute or two to set up. So it might seem liquidy at first, but you don't want to add more because you're gonna end up with a gelatinous mush of jello-like soap. I'm speaking from experience here. You could also add some essential oils if you wanted at this point. And then you're just gonna pour your soap right into your soap jar. And that's it guys, super simple, super easy. We love this soap and it's all we ever use anymore. I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time.